Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Tales of Aris. I thought I'll give this a shot because I want to play Tales of series games and I have a couple of them that I actually purchased recently but I haven't really touched any of them because I just don't know where to start to be honest with you. So I thought I'll just try out this demo since it was released today as of August 24th I believe. Yeah, we're 24th. Double check on my watch. So I don't know what to expect of these games. I'm not sure how long these games are usually but for demos I guess but we'll see there's a lot of things to accept here warning the demos and the work in progress okay contents are subject to change in the final release division retail release oh, yeah fair enough no support will be offered in case any unexpected review okay we just jump oh wait one second don't want to run any immersion but I just want to double check this yeah we're good there and then start demo let's see what's going on here so we'll play on the standard difficulty, I don't know, that should be fine. I'm going to leave everything as is. Uh, subtitles display, yep, that's good to me. I'm going to leave everything on, I believe. Music, of course, agree, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's a lot of actually here. Tips, yeah, I guess so, because we don't know how to play this game. Save and begin. Okay, let's see what happened. Select the character you wish and control in the demo. When you clear the demo, you can use, or you can see a, previous, a preview video of the character you were controlling when clearing it. Note, the controlling character can be switched during gameplay. However, the bonus movie that plays after clearing the demo will remain based on whatever character you first selected on the screen. Alright, so we have a few characters. There's six characters, seems like. So, Alfie and a, sw a swift sword fighter with an array of arts to combat any type of foe in close quarter combat. A long range gunslinger who also uses astral arts, letting her heal the party between shots. Shion. Rinwell, a mage who mainly relies on astral arts. Though casting takes some time, her magic has a far reach. Law, a close quarter martial artist whose sheer power and flurry of strikes overwhelms at his enemies. Kasira, a hammer wielder with a giant shield that blocks attacks, letting her fight on the front lines. Do Halem, an all around fighter whose road and whose rod and arsenal of arts enables him to dispel dispatch foes of any distance. I'm actually going to start with Alphan here. Seems like the main guy for me. I like close quarter combats. We'll see how this works. I don't know what to expect of these games. I know it's a demo, so I can't expect it to be long, a long gameplay, but we'll see. Well, off we go. So I'm guessing we start the game and right off the bat it looks amazing. You can see how it left there. Oh gosh, okay. I'm just trying to figure out the controls now. So jump, dash, and this is to map a square. All right. There's some enemies up ahead. Hmm? So Zoogles have infested even tranquil places like this, huh? That's a damn shame. <laughs> What do you expect? Tamed or stray? Wherever the Renans are lurking, Zilgils are sure to follow. I'll be surprised if there somehow weren't any Zilgils in this part. Great. I know that it's just threw me for a loop a little, that is all. Listen, Zilgils are just deployed depending on the environments they're best suited for. When we visit an area for the first time, we'll have no idea what they're capable of. So think carefully at how to put that blazing sword to use. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Now let's get moving. Ooh, interesting. Alright, so we have strikes, hits, cure points, consumed when casting, healing, okay. Allies HP, and then arts, so press triangle, square, or X to be to trigger the corresponding arts set, okay. Arts gauge, fine. And then there's a boost attack to trigger the corresponding characters, okay. Sounds good to me. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Well, we're gonna have to try this out. So press R1 to perform a normal attack. At first, you can string up the three normal attacks together. But by learning certain skills, this limit can be increased. Characters can also per attack in mid-air jumping, okay? Arts are special actions performed by spending parts of your AG, art skate. Press triangle, square, or X to use the arts assigned to each button. While AG are gradually 
restore automatically, it will restore more slowly when attacking. Pushing the um, L3 and press R2 to, to invade an enemy attack. If you time it while an enemy is approaching, you'll perform a special evasion, allowing you to... Okay, cool. Alright, let's try this out. Oh gosh, okay, so evasion is... Okay, got it. Oh, this is so sick, actually. It, like, it's like a... I guess it's like this is gonna be an uh, action RPG, right? This obviously doesn't seem like there's any... I guess, uh, elements of turn base. Maybe there is, I'm not sure. So, like, right now I'm pressing, like, the bottom left and pressing whenever they're displayed. So let's just kill this guy and then move to the next target. Oops. Jeez, there's so much happening at once, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. But it's so cool, like, how you have your friends to come in. So strike, bow strike. Uh, bow strikes are one-hit kills performed in tandem with other allies. When you see the word strike or an enemy, press to use one immediately. Bow strikes can occur more frequently with lower height. Okay, higher combo counters, okay? So it should be instant kill. Uh, that's so sick, actually. That is so sick. It's so cool, actually. I, I haven't played Tales before, so this is awesome. I think I got the hang of this. Don't get it in your head. Complacency leads to trouble. You never listen, do you? There's no such thing as being too alert in battle. On we go. Alphan's Perks. Flaming Edge Part 1. Alphan can sacrifice HP to use Flaming Edge, a strong uh, wind reaching blazing sword attack. To do so, hold triangle, square, or X, which will be a trigger of Flaming Edge after he performs the corresponding art. Flaming Edge moves cost no AG to use. Flaming Edge moves have the added bonus of dealing extra damage to downed enemies. Plus, after learning a certain skill, you can continue to hold the button longer, letting you exchange more of Elephant's HP for more power. Fair enough. So, did you like my boost art? Yeah, it was off the charts. Cooking. So at cams and ends, you can cook meals, com uh, conferring temporary effects when eaten. Now, sorry, new dishes can be made by finding recipes, while ingredients can be found at collection points and general stores. Eating a new meal overrides any previous effects. Depending on who is in the party cooks a meal, the extent of their effect and their duration will vary. As such, it's wise to rotate who's on cooking duty based on their current goals and the party's overall status. Very interesting, because it seems like each character like really has a different set of skills, I guess, in this game uh, to do certain things. So I don't know. I have never played these games before. It's super fun. There's something shining over here. Apple gel, apple flavor medicine that can restore 400 HP to one ally. Sounds pretty good to me. So let's, let's see what happens when you engage in a fight. Interesting. So Shion's thing, cause so this is Shion's I think, that's Shion. So I don't know how this is, but like this is pretty sick to me. I don't know how you guys feel when you guys have played this. I think this is only a PS5 uh, demo, but there is the opportunity for you to play on PS4 when it comes out. I believe it comes out September 10th. I might be wrong in that number, but I'm definitely gonna buy it. This is such a cool demo. It's like just a little bit, and I think I, what I like about this is just not your typical turn-based game. I love turn-based games, but this is pretty sick for a Tales game. Like we're gonna lose to small fry. I don't know if you guys have played Tales game. I'm assuming a lot of you have watched this video and probably thinking like he has no idea what he's doing or mine. Opal mass, a clump of milky white ore that shimmers with a faint green light. Regarded as a natural blessing from the earth, it contains the power of wind. Bit more. Or the influence is a holder with the power of wind squeezed. It requires refinement to safety use. A constant exposure results in increased aggression. Alright. Metal engraver. The metal engraver can craft accessories for you using that or review mine from mining point. Once you train an accessory and activate new skills for it, you can even transfer those skills to different accessories together. All together. Hmm. 
This is very cool. It's very new, like um, this feeling. I don't know what how it is, but it's really cozy kind of, like this look. The graphics looks amazing. I have a smart TV. It's really nice. All right, it's moving forward. Hopefully we get in kind of like a city, see how it is when you're in that area. Oh, it looks like there is a city here. Some enemies up ahead there. Let's see what happens when we just went to this person. Mm -hmm. Hey, you two there. I don't think I've seen you around here before. You two from out of town? So what if we are? What business is it yours? None, none at all. We just don't look like you know where you're going, that's right. all. You're right, this is our first time in the area. Then you'll ha want to head to Vicience, the big capital of Eld Menesia. Mm -hmm. Just know that, as you can clearly see, the area is crawling with Zulgul Zulgulas. And they all seem to be even angrier than usual. If you're not looking to get jumped by them, stick to the highway. I'd safer than trying to cut across the rough and run into trouble. Although judging by that story you're carrying, maybe you thrive of danger. If that's your thing, I won't stop you, but don't say I didn't warn you. Vicient, eh? What do you think we should do? Now that like we have anything else to go, maybe better than wandering these fields immediately. Then settled. We're off to Vicient. Safe travel, folks. I'm going to hang, I'm going to hang around here a little bit longer in case poor travelers like you to lose their way. Come on, guys. We've got lots hmm. to do. Very interesting. And there's like little areas where you can just pick up like food here, I think. Tomatoes, yeah. This is so cool. Like, I, I like these type of games, you know, like kind of like, I don't know if it's like free, war free roam, but it's really nice and silk. The the jumping is amazing. Like when you land too, you feel that um, impact. Mushrooms. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Let's just walk away from that. Let's stick to the main lands here. And see what's this around these parks. Wow, Kisara. It's so big. You're you're talking about Chest. The shield, right? Oh, protect ring. A ring that reduces damage taken from physical attacks. It works better than battles where both sides are trading blows, but a close in okay. I what pressed R one. I sometimes see you chuck out in the middle of fights. What? You mean my bombs? Bombs? As in the things people use to clear out rocks? But I could have sworn I saw something other than fire burst from some of yours. That's because these aren't ordinary bombs. They're specially made ones filled with astral energy. Hmm, okay. And why do you shoot the bombs after you release them? It's a part of my strategy. The effects of my bombs change when I fire bullets of a different astral element at them. It makes it difficult for enemies to predict what effect they'll have, or when they'll go off. One moment you're using powerful bombs, the next you're using powerful healing arts. They're kind of on the opposite ends of the spectrum, aren't they? Think of it this way. If you ever get caught up in the blast of one of my bombs and you manage not to die, I'll be able to heal you using my arts. Hmm. I'll do my best to not die then. Interesting. Trying to see what's the. I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you, and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys. I can get some hits in when they move in to attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes. I possess the ability to command earth elemental beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh, what he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholin handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. Interesting. It seems like I can press R1 again, bottom right. But let's continue. Let's venture forward. Very, like, nice looking game. Rest here? Maybe there's, like, a resting area here where the campfire is. Camping, camping out. Resting at a campground. More story parties, HP, and a CP. While resting, you can watch skits and cutscenes that you previously viewed. And there's a person here. Maybe it's, like, a collect. Pepper, pepper. Let's see what this person has. 
For those items, for those times when victory is almost in reach, it's our job as shopkeepers to key up you get the rest of your way there. Can we even buy anything yet in this game? Has so many HP. Maybe I should just hold off for now. I'm just exploring right now, so let's see what's going on. May this moment be in your road and even journey, greater journey ahead. Okay. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. This is really cool. If you look around though, it's like actually nice and peaceful, but like all these monsters are all over the place. Whew. I don't sense any more enemies. If you don't stick to the uh, main roads, there's a bunch of them just hanging and waiting for you. Oh, this is a cow. It's like milk or something? It's like glowing here. Yeah, milk. Interesting. Baby cow. Can't go through here. This is so cool. I, I keep saying that, but like this is so new to me because I never played these games before. Now I imagine that all of them look like these games because this is a brand new tail series, right? For the tail series. So just kind of exploring, just trying to like take this all in kind of thing. You can swim too. Okay. <laughs> just catching salmon easily. This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here then? <laughs> Ooh. I'll see what I can do. A strong rod inspired by pillars inside homes, of all things. Beautifully designed, it never bends or breaks as it mills down enemies after enemy. Cool. I don't know where to go really, to be honest with you, in this game. I'm just kind of just taking it all in. Just exploring the, I guess, the atmosphere. I'm not sure where it ends, like the demo, but this is so nice. It's like it's new. You know? Astral or one or containing a large amount of astral energy when refined carefully the astral energy can be retained for future use hmm. more salmon here heck yeah cool so how do you guys find these games like uh i never play tales and if you were to recommend how where i start please let me know i'm more than happy to play whatever you recommend me. i'll do my best to find a way to play them I do have a PS5, obviously, because I'm playing on it right now. And I have a PS3 backwards compatible, so if, let me know. I can play like any of the one, two, or three PS games. So yeah, there's some chicken, maybe eggs, yeah. Oh, there's chicken too, jeez. Can we walk into the building? No. That's fine. Less places for me to explore if that be. It's like no one lives here, it's just so quiet. Yeah, this is a really uh, nice looking game actually. If you look around, look how beautiful the sky is really. Look at that. Boom. Very nice looking. But if you look around, it's just like you can jump, you feel the impact when you land. There's someone here. Pardon me, if I'm not mistaken, are you two travelers? And you are? Ah, uh, where are my manners? My name is Drashin. I work for the city. You were told to come visit Vishen. I'm guessing yes. this is it? Yes, you've certainly come to the right place. I wish I can say welcome to you both. However, the gates in the city are currently sealed. Nobody is currently allowed to enter. The danger is Zugal's in the loose, what you mm. see. A Zugal, there's nothing to get twist about. We saw plenty of them on the Maybe. way here. There's no ordinary Zugal, I fear. It's a rather large specimen. One of them is free former constraints. Mm. Worse still, there are troubling reports of an even larger zoo on the loose, and that's neither here nor there. Until they've both been successfully hunted down for sa everyone's safety, the cities will unfortunately remain under lockdown. Yes. Does that go for you too, despite being a resident? Sadly, yes. Due to the blunder on my part, I've been locked out as well. I'm just about to take shelter on a nearby ranch. You're both more than welcome to join me if you wish. So you're planning on holding up at the ranch? Sorry, but we got other plans. We can't just... Hey, Shion, why don't we get rid of the Sugals ourselves? I was afraid you were going to have another outrageous suggestion. Hear me out. The sooner we take care of them, the sooner we can visit, uh, enter Vishen. Better than just sitting around at the ranch, right? Alright, let's get, let's do it. Spit it out. Where are these eagles running around? That's unfortunate. They're in the tidal plains. Wait, surely you don't intend to go there yourselves, do you? That's exactly what we're going to do. Once we get rid of them, I want decent accommodations for the both of us. Got it? Gosh, she's like, you know, very strong with her dance. I like that. It's awesome. Like, just being direct and it's like, where is it? Just do it. We'll do it. Get the job done. Cool. Okay, off we go. All right, so let's check. So press. Okay, awesome. Okay, so this tells you where to go. 
there's the Tato plan, so we have to go there. And then this other area, okay. This is awesome. I, I find that you need these type of games to keep you going to play, because I, I like um turn-based games, obviously. I've been playing Final Fantasy 1 in my game, Pixel Remaster version, and I played multi I played the Final Fantasy 8 remaster as well. And Final Fantasy 8 remaster is very very complicated when you first played. I was so lost. I don't know if you, any of you have watched my series, but that's the old series that I played. I didn't play it well, oddly enough. I think that I should have been more uh, time consuming with how I perceived the game, leveled up more instead of going in. One second. Okay, so they have weapons, armor, and accessories. I have a protect ring, so I'll throw that on it. Okay, and they have all these guys with me. That's sick, okay. And that's all you gotta do to equip it. And I think this is where we go. Yeah. So let's check this out. This person here too. Hey, Zergen Passes. What, you guys are planning on fighting that Zugal? Are you nuts? I uh, think twice before taking the thing on, you know? Well, we are insane. Alright, so where are the Tino planes? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. The hell is that? You see that thing? <laughs> we gotta take that thing out. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Oh, yep. Looks like it. I'm down. This is sick. Okay, let's fight this thing. This doesn't look easy. Level 26 Mantis X1. It's only one of these things. I need to learn how to dodge more. Oops, strong button. Keep pressing the wrong button. For dodging. Laws rate right down. Weak points. Some large enemies have orange glowing spirit cores that can be destroyed after taking a set amount of damage. Doing so will break the core and break down them. Depending on the enemy, these weak points can be difficult to be directly targeted. Hmm. I'm getting my butt kicked, I'm not gonna lie, aren't I? Did he learn a new ability? We're just like overwhelming this thing with attacks. I see like the... I'm trying to target the leg. Shallow blade. Oh gosh, this thing's a beast that way. Eh? have these guys too I can use. I must admit though, this is actually so sick. I like how there's multiple players instead of just having like you. You know what I mean? Like in these games, like you need multiple people to have fun sometimes too. Like this game has a bunch of players. I'm not sure if you get all of them at one shot or you have to like collect them as you go. Kind of like gathering around and you find them as like t Legend of Mana kind of thing. Like you have your party, but at the same time you have to like find them. So we'll see. I'm just uh, attacking with normal attacks and sometimes I press triangle and all that. I like how you can like switch and just like press and then they go straight to the guy. So there's like, I don't want to see the weak point just yet to be honest. I think it's the leg because it's kind of glowing, right? So we'll see. Oops. Gosh, I'm not even sure what's going on half the time because there's so many of us attacking this thing. And this demon. Strike, okay, let's get this. Do the demons descend again. Yeah, we're making some progress. This thing is insane. It is. It's pissed. Okay, let's get some some taxing guys. Okay, let's like I'm gonna have to like oh there we go core break got it. Just 
just going all out with these techs. Oh my god, what's going on? There's like all these little baby enemies. Maybe I should take them down so they don't hurt my guys. Right? I wish I don't have to press R1 each time though. That's the one thing I noticed. Like it's, it doesn't uh, necessarily, it's not forgiving with just pressing R1. Gosh darn it, these things are annoying. Just gotta keep hitting it. Am I sleeping? No. I'm just killing this thing. Right, that's what I think we should do at least. Alright. Let's attack this thing. Does that reach? No, I don't. I miss, I think. Let's attack these things again. I'm not in a rush, right? So I can just attack this thing and just build up my... Uh, my meter to use my... Uh, I guess my... What's it called? I already forgot what it's called. I want to build up my arts gauge so that I can uh, use these abilities, shadow, demon thing, all these things, right? If not, I can't use them, so then I can destroy these things. That's gone. <laughs> I feel like I'm not doing much because these guys are taking, uh, taking all the other guys. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I got my, I'm getting my butt kicked. Maybe I can destroy that thing. Am I down? I'm trying to see how I switch. So how do I switch, guys? Let me see. Sorry, uh, stretch, can I flee strategy? Uh, I'll figure this out later. I'm just trying to see how I switch. I guess not, eh? You're, you just have to go with the flow. Get him, guys. God damn it. Where's my health, though? Honestly, oh, it's, I see now. It's where those uh, gauges are. They, they should be fine without me, but like you see how much damage those things that thing did to me? He must have hit me. I must have got really mad. Maybe I have an item to restore myself. Oh yeah, never mind. I'm blind. Let's not attack it then. We should be able to kill it here, I think. Okay, I need to be careful again. I think I can use items here. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. So what I want to do is actually go back. I think there's probably a shortcut to use these things, right? Uh, let's see something that has more HP. Yeah. Cool. Hit me like a freaking truck, though. Come on, we got this. We got this. We got this. Look at the health. 2.5. Oh, it's done here. It is done. Look at this. Go with myself. Flaming swing. Jesus Christ. What a fight. That was sick. I must admit though, that was so cool to have it also has a weakness so you can attack it consistently. It's a nice little touch, I think. That makes it like bearable, I guess. <laughs> Greetings, guns travelers. I gather you've decided to take the refugees to the ranch after all. Actually, we took care of the Zugo problem for y'all. What? Surely you just. It's sure ferocity gives. Even the city's own guardsmen pause. <sighs> a reasonable reaction for anyone with a level head to have. What? You think I'm not level headed? Sure I do. If you consider fighting a giant Zugo first thing after reviving to a new city to be level headed. What about you? You're the one who agreed to help because you didn't want to have to sleep rough. It's got nothing to do with. Or part of my interrupting you too. Suffice it to say I believe yes. you now. Clearly I underestimated how strong the pair of you clearly are. <laughs> Save your thanks. As long as you give a warm bed and some nice food, we'll call it even. I don't remember you asking for food before. What? What was that? Nothing, don't mind me. Now it's finally reopened the gates. <laughs> Allow me to welcome you both to Vicente Ernest. I'm confident I'm confident our city will be able to sure. 
We'll like you. We'll like your liking. We'll give both our high expectations. That's for sure. Well, let's head on in. What are you fighting for? I'm Renan. You're Danon. There's no way. What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? You really can't feel pain? It's just another thing I don't have. I don't remember anything about my past. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch feels nothing but. You're wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? Ball's in your court, soldier. What do you say? I want to fight. To live and taste freedom! Let us finish this. We've got a better chance working together. It's only over when you give up. You can trust me, you know? Ian, lean on me. Until the day I died, I knew I would be alone. I wish we had never met! Then I wouldn't have to feel this way! I have everyone to thank for that. Including, especially you, Halfen. God damn. That sounds intense. Like I like story driven games too, don't get me wrong. So that was really nice. Thanks you for playing. Thank you for making this demo. Jeez. That was really fun. I played Alpha in story, so I'm not sure how it is for everyone else's, but I'm definitely gonna buy this game. I'm gonna purchase it to be a physical copy, but I don't know if you guys have played it. Let me know in the comments or give me your thoughts because let alone these games are really good. But also, like I mentioned before, tell me what games I should play in the Tales of series. Like all of them, but like give me a suggestion where I should start. I'm not sure if this game is following from another, another series. Sorry, not another series. I'm not sure if Tales of Eris is following from like a previous Tales of game or is all of them separate games, like separate stories. Just let me know. I'm really, really excited to play the Tales of Eris and it's coming out very shortly next month, I believe. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, please feel free to subscribe, leave a like, dislike, give me a comment, and, and let me know how you like the game yourself. Anyways, have yourselves a good one, and see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Bye.